The new hospital is going to enable us to meet our mission. Our mission is to provide high quality health care services to improve the lives of all we serve. This is going to be a great care environment for our patients, for our families. We're really proud to bring this facility to our community. Our vision for the future for Inspire Health Network is to grow. That includes building a new hospital. First, it started with our strategic plan. The strategic plan indicated that we needed to build a new hospital. So we decided to come up with an innovative concept. We decided to pre-qualify general contractors. We decided to pre-qualify architect firms. And we asked them to pair up. We selected Array and Scansa because of their innovative way to bring best practices into building a new hospital. We're not going to duplicate everything that we do at the old hospital into the new hospital. We're actually going through Six Sigma. We're going through design and mapping processes to make sure that we incorporate evidence-based medicine into the new hospital. We're creating a transformational plan. We're meeting with doctors, nurses, support staff from every service line, where we're sitting down in rooms with 10 to 20 people, creating a vision of how we wanted to provide care in the new hospital. You know, we've been working with the architects uh, really since August, mapping out our processes, looking at what we need to change, looking at what's in the best interest of the patient. Uh, so we began with just taping the size of the rooms and just really starting to get the staff and the physicians, uh, really everybody involved in the design of the hospital, an idea of what the space will look like. And then with that, we rented a, a old car detailing place down on Broad Street and built uh, out of thick cardboard, what that space would be, once again modifying it from what was on the tape to now put a little more structure to it. So we have the five uh, rooms that we have mocked up are the emergency department, an LDRP up in maternal child health, a prep recovery in the OR, an ICU room, and then a general adult patient room as well. Part of the process has really been interesting to watch is how we're creating different spaces in each of the patient rooms. The patient space, the caregiver space, but also the family space to make sure all of them are appropriate, uh, but also work well together. Next phase was to build the drywall space. So it gave a little more structure to it. We did mock scenarios. Uh, we mocked delivering a baby. We mocked up having a code. Uh, we mocked up transferring a patient in and out of a space. Once again, just trying to make sure that we have looked through the flow of the space, the size of the space, uh, the convenience for the staff, but experience for the patient. Staff are given really a two-hour window to come in. Uh, we have Tina uh, McCormick and the architects are there to, to once again touch the space, make comments, uh, write notes up on the wall. So the staff support and engagement has been great. We're very appreciative of it and we look forward to it continuing over the next six months as we get through the, the next five rounds of the design process.